It's breakfast time! Forget stacks of pancakes covered in maple syrup and push aside your love of grits, as there's really no place for any of these items in the classic full English breakfast. So grab your knife and your fork and come with me as we feast our eyes on Britain's most treasured national dish. History of the Full English the origins of the Full English breakfast are a bit of a mystery, but many believe it harks back to the time of landed gentry who were keen to display their wealth and in doing so would put on lavish cooked breakfasts for their guests. The Full English breakfast was later adopted by the working classes as a great way to start the day during the Industrial Revolution and has since become part of the British national identity. Nowadays, most Brits indulge in a Full English only at the weekends, but boy is it worth the wait. Also called a fry-up, the Full English consists of the following fundamental items. Eggs Fried eggs are most common in a Full English breakfast. Well, what did you expect with the name Fry Up? However, scrambled and poached eggs are totally acceptable options. Bacon We mainly use British back bacon, which is a combination of both pork belly and pork loin. The bacon is served fried or grilled until the fat is golden brown and no, it isn't covered in maple syrup. Sausages the Full English Breakfast is the perfect place for you to show off your sausage. And no, I'm not talking sausage patties or hot dog wieners. Instead, we prefer a simple Lincoln or Cumberland sausage, fried or grilled. Black pudding. I can only imagine this is called a pudding to make it sound more appealing. Black pudding is actually not a pudding. In fact, it's more like a sausage, but made with kidney fat, oatmeal and pig's blood. Mm -mm. It's sliced and then, yep, you guessed it, fried and tastes a bit dry and salty, a bit like everything else on the plate. Baked beans Our baked beans are very different to the original American creation, which was made up of beans stewed with pork and molasses. British baked beans are stewed haricot beans, typically in a tomato sauce. You could make your own, but most of us just buy them in a tin. Toast Toast or fried bread is essential for mopping up all the lovely grease left on your plate. You can use it as a platform to transport eggs and beans to your mouth, or you could save it and cover it in marmalade. In the north of England, grilled oat cakes are popular, whilst soda bread is served in Ireland. In Scotland, a potato or tatty scone is a staple, whilst Wales, interestingly, has lava bread, which is made up of seaweed boiled with oats. I think I'll stick to toast, thanks. Mushrooms Mushrooms should never come from a tin, only fresh mushrooms will do. Grill or fry them gently and add some herbs if you're feeling particularly creative. Tomatoes Grilled tomatoes are perhaps the most colourful item on the plate, next to the browny, creamy, beigey colour of everything else. These have a tendency to explode, so try not to wear your favourite t-shirt to breakfast unless tomato juice embellishment is the look you're going for. So, there you go. Eggs, bacon, sausages, black pudding, baked beans, toast, mushrooms and tomatoes. Let me know what you think. It really is the perfect way to start the day like a true Brit. Enjoy with a cup of tea or coffee and of course a copy of the morning papers. What twist do you like best on the traditional English breakfast? Let us know in the comments or tweet us at Anglophenia. And remember, you can like us on Facebook too. Now can I pinch a sausage? This one is grilled to perfection. That one is the perfect start to the day. Watch this one, it's excellent.